Hey, I'm Victor, and you're watching NBA 2K TV. Welcome to a special edition of NBA 2K TV. We hope you're enjoying summer as much as we are between events and the new game. We have been so busy. So busy. Recently, we were out there with you, the community, for our 2K TV Tuesday event. You were out there repping 2K TV gear, and it was a huge success. First up, we tipped off the summer at NBA 2K24 Summer League. And Chris, there's a little surprise in there for you. Mm, let's go see what's going on. Well, at this early stage of the season, what's the biggest challenge for a team, Greg? Well, you know, B.A., early on, some teams know what kind of club they are. But for a lot of teams that have some turnover or coaching change, it's about finding who you are, finding your identity, figuring out what style is going to work. The starters for the Memphis Grizzlies. Inside, it's the pair of Jackson Jr. and Adams. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. And it's M.P. in at the small forward position. Now here's Bain, back to MP. Oh, MP throws it down! Oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style, that was sweet. MP against Hart, pass to Randall. Clock at six. Here's Grimes. The rebound by Jackson. MP finds Adams. That one's good from Bain on the assist by Adams. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Here's Robinson. The Grizzlies making their last shot. A oh, nice shot by Grimes. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. It makes a difference for them if he can establish his three-point shot as a weapon. Now here's MP. Really played well against New Orleans in his last game. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, for the Knicks, what's it going to take to bring him back to the glory days? Oh, that's a loaded question, B.A. But first of all, a superstar would certainly help. They haven't really had one for quite some time. If they can either develop or attract an elite all-star player, that would be a start to turning this New York franchise around and becoming possibly a contender. Now here's Hart. What a tremendous game he played against Portland. And the ball out of play, the Grizzlies will have it. Horrible mistake right there. You hate to see unforced turnovers like that. And here's Memphis. They're fresh off a win against the Pelicans. <laughs> and in that game, they own the glass. Most of the second chance opportunities went to them. And you could tell it was demoralizing for their opponent, missing out on all those extra possessions. Now here's Randall. He had a big outing in that Trailblazers game as well. Got a piece of it. Jackson with it. And it's Brunson picking him up. Outside Morant. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Six to shoot. MP. And he hits it from nine feet. MP's got five now. Oh, what a crafty move, causing the defender to pause right there. Pass to Grimes. Here's Hart. Right side, Brunson. Takes a three. Sinks it from distance. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's MP. He's got five. 
almost converts despite the contact. Second first, no foul. Second team foul. Free throw good, MP. And you can tell how much these fans here in Memphis love their Grizzlies. Yeah, I mean, B.A., ever since they moved here in 2001, these fans have been so loyal. And the players are also enjoy playing here. Memphis is a fun-loving city with great barbecue and a lot of character. Quickly, is checked in for New York. Good on the bucket. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Eight, eight. Outside Moran. MP outside. Pass to Adams. Bain against quickly from 12 feet. Off the left rim and out. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Outside Brunson. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. He turns the offensive board into a big slam. Wow, he was so well positioned there. Credit his anticipation. Here's Grimes. Five points in the game. Quickly, outside. Outside for Randall. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Jackson. Randall can't hit. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. And there's Bain. Desmond that one's Bain. good. The assist by Moran. Bain's got his second bucket on the night. Brunson passes to Quickly. Back to Brunson. Randall outside. And the call will be against Jaron Jackson. Jaron Jackson. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. On defense, the Grizzlies. Six-point lead. That's how you draw it up. The defense, defense just foul. couldn't react in time. Right. And a moment First to look at the scoring foul. approach in terms Second of where the points foul. are coming from here for Memphis. Jaylen. That free throw good from Brunson. And Jalen Brunson, he's a great option on the floor, Grant. Oh, yes, he is. Can attack from different levels of the floor. Solid shooting threat from outside. And gives you another playmaker to initiate the offense. Now here's MP. Ten points for him. Jackson finds MP. No good with the triple. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Here's Grimes. Second shot opportunity. And Robinson finishes it off. Those are some hustle points. Really bonus points when you put in a miss. 14, 13. Here's Moran. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Shows great imagination offensively. Morant, so many tricks up his sleeve. Pass to Grimes. And here's Brunson from the arc. The shot that time, not on target. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Inside. Oh, and the dunk by MP. And you see the unselfishness from Morant, wanting to share that ball with any open teammate. Here's Grimes. Five points in the game. He can't get it to go. Ooh, some solid defense from Adams. Here's MP. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got his third assist of the night. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Now here's Brunson. 26 points for him last game against Portland. To the middle. Randall inside. Defended by Jackson. And it's going to be a three-second call. Hardenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. Tillman's checked in for Memphis. Jones comes in for John Morant. Memphis leading. 
Here's MP. And MP throws it down. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. New York has gone two of five from deep. Quickly outside. Pass to Hardenstein. Quickly outside. A shot to stop the run. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. MP finds Jackson. Back to MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. They came out and bum-rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. Now a timeout called by New York. Yeah, ever since the Nets relocated to Brooklyn in 2012, the rivalry between the Nets and Knicks has intensified. It's Randall and Robinson. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Hart in at the three slot. That's the group for New York starting the second. It'll be hard for the Nets to take New York City away from the Knicks. They've been there so long. <laughs> so true, B.A. But the Nets have attracted more strong players lately. Top free agents choosing to go to the Nets instead of the Knicks. We'll see if this trend continues moving on. You know, some have said those old school power forwards, guys like Charles Oakley, they're becoming outdated. You see that, Grant? Well, first of all, the physicality in the game is no more. The way Oakley would hit you and bruise you, you can't do that in today's game. And guys like Oakley are now playing the five position, and they're shooting three-pointers. So a lot of it just is because the game has changed and evolved since the 90s when Oakley dominated. Great skill level in the game right now. No question. And Josh Hart listed at 6'5", but he plays much bigger than that. He does. I mean, just so strong on defense in the post, B.A. Often will guard up a position, and his rebounding numbers show he plays well above his listed height. And both free throws good for Hart. Well, Richard, it's hard to believe it's been over 20 years since the Grizzlies came to Memphis. Brian, it has been crazy. And look, they have been a playoff team more often than not in that time. But this could be the best era yet for the Grizzly organization. They've got a great core of young players and are strong on both ends of the floor. MP. And MP throws it down. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space, it has to be a great play on each end. Brunson finds Robinson. And here's Quickly, guarded by Bain. Quickly, outside. Just five on the clock. Brunson passes to Hart. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. Brunson misses. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. MP shot is good. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. And the Knicks shooting just 35% from the floor. Pass to Brunson. Bain against Quickly. Outside Robinson. Back to quickly, the three. It's rebounded by Memphis. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. And Morant gets it to go on the assist from Bain. And the Grizzlies lead by 21. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Going all in, that was the 2K drive. Well worth the second look. I love it, making their own luck. You don't want to let off the gas with the lead. Continue to make things happen. And now the Grizzlies on the run. The finish! Oh, and the dunk by MP. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. Hey, guess what? Mission accomplished. Oh, yeah, they're doing a terrific job not giving this hostile crowd anything to cheer about. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Making his presence known with that SWAT. Jackson Jr. understands when Jackson, to go Jackson after block. Their offense is looking like a well-boiled machine, getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. 
Now a timeout called by New York. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Grizzlies. That one was in Memphis. And last time against this team, they struggled with foul trouble. It led to an ugly loss. They had to rely on their bench a lot in that game, and maybe it instilled some confidence in those guys. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Hart from long range. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. MP's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Moran. The shot off that time. Some solid defense from Brunson. And here's quickly. Hart from long range. And they recover it to end the drought. Robinson finds Randall. Outside Hart. Four on the clock. And again, the Knicks missing. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next Jackson, time down. Jackson, <laughs> this Jr. run has been fueled by their Matador defense. For New York, they've gone 0 for 6 in the second. Not looking good. Pass to Hart. Now here's quickly. Back to Hart. Let's it go from deep. And there's Next. the foul. It'll go on Julius, Julius Randle. That's first his first foul. foul. Just a first superb read on defense to come up with the block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated. Able to shut it down with authority. Memphis with the ball. They've outscored them 16 to 2, not slowing down. Step back and fire. It's hauled in by Robinson. New York has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Pass to Brunson. Hard up top. No one near him. And again, the Knicks missing. But this is not his quarter. He needs to give up some touches and recalibrate. Jackson gets the Jaren bucket. Jackson uh, just Jr. like his pops. Jaron Jackson Jr. Yeah, look, this man, when he gets close to the hoop, it is pretty much automatic. You can't let that happen. Brunson passes to Randall. Here's Brunson. Outside Hart. Pass to Brunson. The three. Gets the three ball to go. Brunson's got nine. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scores and let them do what they do best. MP the pass to Adams. Oh, oh big finish! Wow. wow. Okay, I see you. Number 11. And whenever Adams is aggressive on offense, it helps big time, especially when he's dunking it hard inside. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Hart can't hit. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Here's Moran. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got six. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Hart passes to Robinson. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And the three-point shot, so important, Richard. That's something you added after you came into the league. What was that process like? Well, look, as the game tilted that direction, it, it was no secret. You have to put in that time. But what I try and tell people is that it took me three years before I was able to even become a consistent three-point shooter and another five before I became a good one. So as long as you're putting in the work, you're going to see the results. Those who evolve are those who stay around. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Derrick Rose, he's checked in for New York. The son of an NBA player, Jaron Jackson Jr. I actually played a bit with his dad, Jaron Sr., in Orlando back in the early 2000s. Illegal screen. And the Great officials baseball. will call the illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. You gotta blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. 
And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And the Jacksons, just the latest father-son NBA duo. Lots of great ones here, Brad. So true, B.A. The Curry family might be the best ever. The Berries, including our own colleague, Brent. The Thompsons with Clay in the league currently. Just some incredible NBA families to admire. Brunson passes to Rose. Brunson against Moran. Pass to Hart. Beyond the arc. The shot no good. And Memphis taking it the other way now. More than a few bad breaks for him this quarter. He's struggling, and the team is following suit on the scoreboard. Yeah, just knocking down First every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Number 11. And the first one at the line is good. The Knicks making a switch here. Hartenstein's checked in. Aldama's checked in for Memphis. Brooks comes in for Desmond Bain. Yeah, and we hear this a lot about the Grizzlies, but it bears repeating. There's probably no team in the NBA that has more reason for optimism than Memphis. Stolen by MP. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Josh Hart. You know, I think about all the optimism surrounding the Grizzlies. The rest of the NBA has been put on notice. Yeah, B.A., and they should be. This team should be a contender for years to come. If the front office makes the right moves, which they have in the last few years, they could be hanging up some banners very soon. Toppin, he's checked in for New York. Grimes comes in for Hart. Here in the second period, he's made a concerted effort to attack and get himself to the line. It's an even three-on-three -three break. And Morant gets it to go on the assist by MP. MP's got three assists in the game. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Well, guys, the NBA markets itself behind its star players, but Commissioner Adam Silver understands what makes the game tick. He said, quote, this is a team sport. In order to truly win championships and compete at the highest level, all the players have to come together. So true, Ali. Thank you. Here's MP. And MP throws it down hard. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. And the Knicks with possession. Here's Grimes. In his last outing, eight points for him. And here's Brunson from the arc. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. MP's got his seventh rebound here tonight. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Outside Brunson. Toppin outside. Pass to Grimes. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. To the paint. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. His court vision has been on display in this one. He's doing a tremendous job just orchestrating the offense beautifully. Takes one from 10 feet. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got a rebound number five here tonight. Okay, now I think he's starting to get in his own head right now. Maybe he's overthinking things a little bit, and as a result, he's just been off. Back to MP. Outside Moran. Shot clock at six. And MP throws it down. Great work to clear some space around the rim and set himself up for that putback. Yes, sir. That was a huge follow. Rose outside. And here's Brunson. He's got nine. And again, the Knicks missing. Jumps up. And MP throws it down. Transition basketball. The most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, good things tend to happen. Pass to Hartenstein. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. 
Defensive Tillman's battle. checked in for Memphis. Jones comes in for John Morant. In 2013, Steven Adams was selected 12th overall by OKC, the first first-rounder born in New Zealand. Yeah, B.A., well, I mean, Adams is blazing a new trail. An example for kids in his home island of New Zealand. You, too, can become an NBA player. Down low. Oh, they pick off the pass. And here's the fast two break. Remaining in the first half, two minutes. A little mid-range shot is up. It's rebounded by Memphis. MP's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. And he drops Number in the layup off the glass. MP's got 45 points. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. And the Grizzlies making a change. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. The Grizzlies out in front, opening up a huge gap. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. 71, 71. Memphis has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Taylor Jenkins. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Inside, it's the pair of Jackson Jr. and Adams. And it's MP in at the three spot. Every night, John Morant has a hard job to do. He draws the opponent's John toughest Morant. defender in each game the they line. play. That's how Two talented shots. of a scorer he is. Hart's checked in for quickly. Well, you talk about the D Morant has to face. Yet he finds a way to get the best of most of those matchups, Richard. He's got a very advanced offensive skill set. He can score off the bounce. He can spot up. Depending on who's guarding him, Ja can adapt and ja find Hart. any weakness. A, a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, they have a long way to go, but attacking the rim like that is a great way to start a comeback. MP, the pass to Adams. Ooh, and Adams, strong finish. You want to stop Adams when he rolls, but honestly, Steven is such a force. Sometimes you can't stop him. Brunson finds Robinson. And here's Hart. Pass to Brunson. Ooh, good work defensively by Adams. They timed up the layup perfectly. New York. The D saw it develop Josh and got there to bother the shot. No debate 17. there. He, he got hammered. Free throw good, MP. Jeffries checked in for New York. And both free throws good for MP. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. Here's Grimes. Pass to Jeffries. Back to Robinson. Just five to shoot. Here's Grimes. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Jaron Jackson picks one up. Well, that was clearly a foul. Quentin Grimes at the line. Both shots good from the strike. Well, Memphis shooting the ball incredibly well tonight. 73% from the floor. Morant, the pass to MP. There's the steal. And here we go. The Knicks in transition. 
Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, one of the free agent moves that wasn't surprising was Brunson joining the Knicks. The two were enamored with each other early on in the process. A big signing for the Knicks, and Brunson now gets a chance to be a main piece of a team. Outside Bain. On the wing, MP. Pass to Moran. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Bain. The D's right on him. Misses the layup. And you got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the play and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. Here's Brunson. Great D that time from Bain. Memphis has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Brunson against Moran. Outside Bain. MP shot is good. MP's got 49 in the game. His arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. Here's Jeffries. Covered by MP. Pass to Robinson. Here's Grimes to the inside. Randall. And the shot goes in. Randall's got his first two points of the night. Yeah, nice play by Randall. He can take up space in there. It has great short area quickness. A shot from the mid-range. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Jeffries, covered by MP. Takes the three. Adams grabs the miss. The Grizzlies have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. MP outside. Outside for Moran. To the middle. Jackson, the pass to MP. Connects again. Another 50-point game from him, and he is now third in the record books for most 50-point games in a season. You can't deny the greatness we've seen from him all year long. He has performed at the highest level, night in, night out. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. The Knicks making a switch here. Quickly's checked in. Substitution on the court. Pass to Grimes. And the Knicks miss again. Got to find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not going to get it. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. It's off to Detroit after this game, where they will face the Pistons. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. They're doing some good work at the line this half. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Grizzlies. Both free throws, good from Brunson. For Memphis, they've gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to MP. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And man, looking First, good from the line so far this half. Foul. Free throw good, MP. Number 11 at the line, two shots. And both free throws good for MP. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Outside Brunson. Pass to Grimes. Back to Brunson. Oh, and makes it with a kiss. Brunson. Brunson's got six Brunson. here in the quarter. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. Moran against Brunson. Inside. And MP with a basket on the assist by Moran. Morant's got assist number eight now on the night. And the Knicks shooting the rock around 43% since the third quarter began. Pass to Grimes. Brunson with it. Puts up a three. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Morant finds Jackson. Robinson with the block. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Robinson.
Here's MP. Non-stop scoring machine right here. And he's going for the lob. Jack and the Jackson dunk by Jr. Jackson. Goodness, That's Jackson off the sweet pass. 11. Throw it up to him. Jaron knows what to do. Here's Grimes, covered by MP. Pass to Randall, quickly, outside. Down low, parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Those are the turnovers that have coaches pulling their hair out. Why do you think I'm bald? So for the Knicks, Hart's checked in for Grimes, and Rose is subbed in for Brunson. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Jones is checked in. They get it back. Here's MP. Doesn't go that time. Good work defensively by Robinson. Knicks shooting an unimpressive 30% in this game so far. And stolen by Jones. Out and out of bounds. Next the Knicks four. will take it. Hartenstein. He's checked in for Robinson. Julius Randle at the line. One shot. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Jalen Brunson. Then it's Julius Randle. Then it's Josh Hart. And it's Grimes in at the three. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Williams. Good. And the assist goes to MP. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Back to Brunson. Pass to Randall. Tipped. Here's Grimes. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And the NBA last season introducing a 100 camera system that allows for a video game like presentation with virtual angles. It's pretty cool. Video games used to chase the league. Now the league's kind of chasing the video games. Yeah, well, this is where the future is heading. It is so cool to see all the different angles that you can now see a basketball game from. That's what makes it fun. That's what makes it exciting. And the NBA, they're doing the right thing. And I know scouting departments are using them as evaluation tools as well. Oh, they're always going to figure out a way to scout more and to evaluate more because it helps them when they're negotiating players' contracts. Jeffries checked in for Grimes. Pass to Fournier. Here's Jeffries. Now Toppin. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside Fournier. Five on the clock. Toppin passes to Fournier. No good on the three. The Grizzlies shooting great so far. 52% on the fourth. Next and let's foul. face it, they won't get Dequan back in the Jeffries. game with fouls like that. First personal foul. 15. And he drops a first. Number 11. At the line. Two shots. And both free throws good for MP. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Outside Fournier. Here's McBride. Williams defending. Pass to Sims. Out to the right wing. Here's McBride. Over Williams. Some solid defense from Williams. Normally he drains that. It's <laughs> safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Grizzlies. Hey, if you get yourself to the line and cash in on those opportunities, you paint your opponent into a corner. Yeah, they were so successful with that all night. Aggressive, fearless, whatever you want to call it, they really pushed the action and got rewarded. And they add to the win column their 19th victory this year. And that's a sweep of the season series. It's clear who the matchup favored. They'll wish they could have seen more of these guys. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for MP. He came up with a bucket every time they needed him to. Great effort on offense, and he was a difference maker. Outside, Williams. Goes up from the top of the key. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Jeffries. 
Off target with the three. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. Yeah, that's a good defender making a play, and he does it without fouling. Outside, Williams. And so it's the Grizzlies taking care of business in this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. And that'll do it, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.